force of nature and putting that all up in the crease as your transition color. And then to deepen it, I am taking this light brown color from my Tartlet palette and doing the same process. Yeah. Yeah. Then taking the e.l.f. glitter primer, and this primer is great because it doesn't look translucent now, but it does dry to a translucent sticky base, and this is perfect for any pigment, or in this case, the shadow called Baby I'm a Star, and I really wanted the glitter to pop, so that's why I used this so the glitter would adhere to the glitter glue primer. And then taking a crease brush to just blend out any harsh lines. And then taking ombre, however you say it, and I'm going to take it with the brush that the palette comes with and just blend it in the crease. And this is just going to help with further blending. And then taking the color Dusty Rose right above the crease as kind of like where you put your transition color. And this is just going to tie the look together. And then as my highlight, I took the color Buttery from the palette. Taking my Too Faced King or RX, ugh, I love this primer, and I'm just going to pat that all over my face, and then uh, where I get usually oily or I want to have smoother application for my makeup, I'm using the new primers from Maybelline, and this is just the blur one with the new SPF, the blue one, and then I usually just put that on my cheeks, nose, and T-zone, and chin, and then just blend it all out. And then taking my favorite, favorite foundation, it's the new Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation with my Real Techniques blending sponge. And I haven't used this in a while, and using it again today makes me realize why I loved this so much in the beginning before buying my Beauty Blender. And then taking the L'Oreal CC Lift Concealer, and I have mine in medium. And I love the rollerball in this because it's like so cool when you put it on your face. It's that cool touch because I have that metal rollerball. And then I'm just going to blend it out with my Real Technique sponge again. As always, I'm setting with my banana powder from Anastasia. And then I'm just taking my Maybelline Fit Me Stick Foundation and contouring where I wanted my skin to be more bronze, adding dimension to the face because it looks kind of flat right now. <laughs> and then taking Sun Power by MAC with my icing big powder blush and just bronzing all over my face. For blush, I'm using my Tarte Amazon Amazonian Clay. I can never say that right the first time. But it's in the color Daydream and it's a very purple undertone blush. I'm using my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the color Champagne Gold, and I freaking love this. And then to tightline my eyes, I'm just going to be using a black coal liner, and this is from Rimmel. It's one of their waterproof eyeliners, and just going to tightline my top and bottom lash line. And then this liner is cool because it comes with like the smudging tip at the end. So after I apply my bottom lash line, I'm just going to smudge it up before I set it with a powder or an eyeshadow powder. And then to set the liner or smoke out the bottom lash line, I'm taking Arm Ar Rouge or seriously I have no clue how to say that so correct me down below. And I'm just going to use this color to smoke out my bottom lash and then right here I'm using a blush to just really blend it out. And then adding your favorite mascara to prep your lashes for falsies. I'm not going to do a wing liner today, but you can if you want, using my favorite wispy lash. And you can keep this lip nude if you want, but I am going to go with something dark and vampy. But first, taking a sip of my coffee. I love this mug. It says keep calm and go shopping. Definitely need to do that for finals. Um, I'm going to be lining my lips with a color from Jordana, and it's in the color Tierra Kiss. And it's a very maroony, dark, fancy color. And then the matte lip cream is from Ulta, and it's in the color Elusive. And it's a dark, fancy purple. And then to set my makeup, I'm using the NYX Dewy Spray. 
And that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and like for more. And until next time, bye guys.